and welcome. Thanks for joining us. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the Colorado Rockies. First pitch coming your way next. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And towing the slab in this one, Kyle Freeland. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Yeah, his batting average against is actually better when he's in a jam. So we'll see if he continues to dance his way out of danger. Here's Xander Bogarts. Outside low. And this one is off and running. That one the other way, and that's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. One down. And now it's Manny Machado leading the NL in home runs to start the day. He's been a beast. Base knock center field. And that should be extra bases. Here comes Bogarts around third. He'll score and the Padres take the lead. 1-0. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. So man aboard one down and it's Tatis at the plate. That one fouled off. Machado over at second one down. That one lifted to left sizes this one up. He's got it. Runner tags at second. Not in time. He's safe. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front That's shoulder right. coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Two outs and a runner at third. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. On the ground to the left. Zips it to first. That ends the inning. And they limit the damage. Padres with the run scoring double and the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. So in now for Colorado, Ada El Amador. And a foul ball. Amador, a former All-Star, hitting leadoff in today's game. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. No, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm no angle. So I got to think fight. he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff boring in on his hands. The 0-2. No. That one missed. The punch out there. And there's two down. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you've got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Top of the second, so digging in now for San Diego, Kyle Higashioka. On the ground, out to short. Tosses to first, one out to second. Here's the switch hitting left fielder, Jerks in profile. Homeward last night added another hit as well. And the first offering is not close. One out, base is empty. That's to third. A dive. Nice stop. Fires to first. And that's a great play for the out. Wow, Singy. He showed off great reaction time and arm strength on that play. We need to take another look at it. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. I mean, the stat cast numbers are absolutely impressive, but that's one of those plays I appreciate more with the naked eye. The reflexes, top-notch. And 
This guy's a magician with the glove. Now here's Jake Cronenworth. That one out to right. Dives and it gets by. Makes the turn and heads for second. Around second now as they still don't have it. And he makes it all the way to third with a two-out triple. Didn't exactly square that one up, but sometimes you don't have to. Loop that one in there for the knob. Definitely got that pitch on the outside of the cap a little bit, but he made it work for him. Jackson Merrill, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. sure if that was a factor there or not but off the bat you're thinking it's going to be a pop out and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Now here's Xander Bogarts now. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Inside almost got him. Ball. And there's a ball. Two one. Ball. Yeah, there's That's ball, the ball. Take your base. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. So first and second with two outs. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. Swing and a foul straight back. Shot to third. They take the force out. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 2-0 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at Coors Field, bottom of the second. Here's the Rockies' cleanup hitter, Sean Bouchard. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Makes the catch for the out. And now here is Elauris Montero. First ah. pitch, and that's in for a strike. The Rockies trailing by two ah. here in the second game of the series. No ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss, struck him out. That's out number two. Kyle Detris digs in now. That's ah. in there, and that is strike one. No Off to a great start. That's He's right. really cruising out there on the mound. Ah. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Two down, nobody on. Hit hard, that gets through. Here's the third baseman. Strike one. That clips a corner. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. The Rockies. Back here in Denver. Here's Manny Machado now. And a pitch. Line drive. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. That one is absolutely belted. That's down. One hops off the wall. Coming home. Relay throw home. Safe. Oh, he did. Comes through with the RBI. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Luis Campusano getting ready to hit. 
bounce to third. And one away in the top of the third. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground, nice ground out. Kyle Higashioka, the next up for the Padres. Way Whoa. outside, and it's 1-0. Oh. It feels like we might be headed towards a rain delay if the weather doesn't ease up, Chris. Yeah, the umpiring crew are going to pay attention ah. to how the weather is impacting this One game. Ball. And the moment it becomes dangerous, I think, is the moment we'll be forced to take a break. Ah. A big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Into center and a base hit. Here comes Tatis around third. He's safe. Well done. Drives in the run. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, it's not too difficult to get the bat to it like he did that time. Man at first with one gone. Now batting jerks in pro far. 0 for 1 so far. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He made him pay for that one. His second home run of the series, it's 6-0. He's swinging a red-hot bat. This isn't the first home run we've seen him hit these last few games, and it probably won't be the last. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Manager out of the dugout now. So the Rockies turn now the ball over to a new arm, Peter Lambert. Number well, they need someone to stop Peter. the bleed and keep the score right Lambert. where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Here's your one. High fly ball out into left center field. Hannah brings it in. Two away. Jackson Merrill, the next up for the Padres. And he oh, dodges wow. that fastball. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not uh -huh. letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. And they're happy He's to out. just get off the field after that break. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the bottom of the third. So in now for Colorado, Jameson Hanna. Up the middle, Kim. Fires to first on the run. Not in time. An infield knock to start the inning. And at first, here's the catcher, Elias Diaz. Right down to shoot. Going one. Nobody out. Runner at first. On its way to the corner. And that drops foul. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. At the belt and fires. Lifted in the air, right center field. Tatis makes the grab on the run. So the batting order turns over. Here's the Rockies leadoff hitter, Adael Amador. The Padres up big in this one here in the last half of the third. And that's a base hit. The throw to third. And he's out. was a great throw from right okay. to come okay. down, trying to go first to third. It's such an exciting play, and it was tough to tell if he tried to push it on his own or if the base coach was waving him around. But with the ball behind you, that's when you have to rely on your coach to have a good feel for the play, and right there, it just didn't work out for him. Rodgers swings through that one as he comes to the play for the second time today. Next offering is in for a strike. Got it by him for the K. So one left for... Start of the fourth. It's Xander Bogarts now. Lambert back to work. That one hit to right. Jones has this one sized up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ha-Sung Kim. 
rips one to right brings it in and there's two away two outs base is empty now Machado up here bounced out to short and they go down out. fast three outs on three back here at Coors Field bottom of the fourth now here's Nolan Wait. Jones and there's the strike. Right. Jones measures six feet four Three. inches, 195 no pounds, ball. and he was a second round pick. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Four, get it. Way back there and gone. And they cut into the deficit. It's 6 1. outing ends that pitch is going to haunt him for a while an 0-2 mistake that's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone he left it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage with and that's exactly what he did and now Sean Bouchard fastball for a strike and it's 0-1 that one to first Cronenworth he takes it on his He's own out. one out in the bottom of the fourth and Lowry's Montero digging in for the Rockies. Out towards right center. That's well struck. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Montero into second, and he's got a double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. He's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up in second. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Out to short, Kim on the off-balance throw. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Number 60. The batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. That's in there. And the count is 0-2. Montero at second with two down. And that's a base hit. Around third. Now a long throw home. Safe. Everything came together for him. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. So two down. And now the center fielder, Jameson Hanna. Left field. Coming on pro far. He's there. He's got it. And we're back. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. Swing and a miss. No ball. You know, these What's Padres right? really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there. On its way and out of here. A gigantic blast. And they add to their lead. It's 7-2. Two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. With the low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient, waited for it. It was like BP all over again. It's the catcher for the Padres, Luis Campusano. Three. Swing and a miss as that one was high. Oh, one. There's a swing and a drive. And that gets down into the gap. Now he'll turn for second. And he'll pull in there with a stand up double. Jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance and weight transfer, and he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. At the play, Kyle Higashioka. And that's in the dirt. Mm -hmm. 
next hey, offering in there for a strike. That's one strike ball, one. one. Wow, strike. good luck catching up to that one. Ball to strike. The pitch. Out towards left center. Hannah sizing this one up. Squeezes it. Runner tags it second. And it throws off line. Safe at third. Far climbs in on that left side. He's already homered in this game. Line drive. Calls it in. And there's two away. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Runner from third comes across, and it's now a six-run lead. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Two outs, runner at first. Jackson Merrill now at the plate. Ball and that's one. outside. Ball one. The Padres up big in this one, and we're at the top of the fifth. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. one, one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that one, time. Two. Ground ball up the middle. Rogers throws out. the first, and that will end the inning. Here in Denver, and now the catcher comes up to him. Elias oh. Diaz, right through there for a strike. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. This one in the air, right field. Tatis drifts towards it, falls it in, and there's one away. The bat. So up next, Adel Amador. That catches the top part of the zone. It's 0 1. On the ground to third. Slings to first, and there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. Foul ball. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field nine. Got it. And good work there as he gets a one. Top six. Here's the second baseman, Xander Bogarts. The wind of the pitch. Out of line, out towards center. One up, one down. And now the shortstop, Hassan Kim. Now the swing and a miss. Kelly just threw that fastball by play. him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. Just one a really ball. nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball. Speed him up. And just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Two outs. Base is empty. Here's Manny Machado. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Base is empty. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Oh, dude. Next offering misses down and away. And the righty deals. Next offering popped in the air. Right field. Jones makes the play, and it's out number three. And here it comes. He catches the outside corner. Hold on. Warburner into the outfield for a knock. 
So a runner aboard to start the inning. Bouchard digging in for the Rockies. And first offering is fouled off. Jones gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Ooh, missed a mistake right there. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. And here's the first baseman, Elauri's Montero. Yep. That's in there, and that's strike one. Hit in the air, center field. Sizes this one up, corrals it. Two down. And now the DH, Kyle Datris. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. The Rockies with a lot of ground to make up here in the bottom of the sixth. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This is ah! Now that's strike three and the third out. And welcome back to the ballpark. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Swings through that one for strike one. Stirring in the Colorado no bullpen, right. Tyler Kinley getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Beaks, the lefty, ball. warming up as well. Now one and one. And foul ball. Tatis waits. And ball. another ball. Would chase that time. The kick, the 3 2. In the air, out towards right center. Hannah sizing this one up. And out number one on the grab. Luis Campusano, the next to hit. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Popped up. Amador settles underneath it and makes the grab. And there's two away. So now the DH spot, Kyle Higashioka. And first offering is fouled off. Look out, that ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this netting down the lines. Just ensure safety for the fans. Last thing is a player you want to look up and see a fan get hit. Two down, nobody on. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. One-two. And ball one. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work. Back here at Coors Field. And the batter now, number 60. And a pitch. In for a strike. And it's a one long. Pretty amazing. His first pitch strike percentage over 90%. You know you're getting something in the zone first pitch. So if you're a hitter, you got to be ready to let it fly, even though he's had a lot of success on that first pitch of the at-bat. He goes down looking. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strikeout of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two away. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A massive home run. It's his eighth home run of the year. And they cut into the lead. It's 8-3. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I could feel that swing from the boot. 
like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. The slight opposite field into the gap, man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Stepping in, Adel Amador. He swings and fouls one off. And yeah. a swing and a miss there. Oh, two. Got him looking for the K. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. It's now 8-3. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Jalen Beeks. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put... Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. And that one is off the wall. Round second, digging for third. Trying to wiggle out of a rundown now. And they put the tag on him for the out. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. He swings and misses at the first pitch. Over one. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Tyler Kinley preparing to come on if needed. Wouldn't chase that time. One ball, two strikes. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Right. Merrill now at the plate as he swings oh, wow. through strike one. A little ah. out front there as he swings through it. Oh, okay. Started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult. Right. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. And we're back, ready for the bottom of the eighth. So in now for Colorado, Brendan yeah. Rodgers. Right through there for a strike. And that one finds its way through. And the leadoff man aboard. Nolan Jones digs in now. There's a strike. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by Let's playing play. sound defense. Hopefully, the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. The pitch. And a rope in the center field. Base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. <laughs> so important to get into the fielding position after you deliver that baseball. That is a scary one. Watch your lips. Bouchard now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. And that one wrapped foul. First and second go out. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Well, he went up there trying to be aggressive, right. that's for sure. Hacking at those first two pitches, no but clearly Let's that play. last one fooled him. He could have been sitting on something else entirely, but you want to be able to adjust on 0-2 ah. and at least get a swing off when it's in the zone. Maybe choke up, maybe spread out your stance a little bit. You got to give the guy credit on the mound, though. He went right after it. Ah. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike oh, zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Chase the fastball. Back here in Denver. Now it's the second baseman, Xander Bogarts. Beats back to work. Bounce to the left side. And he can't come up with it. To first. And he just gets it there in time. One away. Well, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Kim what in up? now. Takes ball one off the plate. Oh. Up and in. And out to an oh. Base is empty one away. Here at the top of the ninth. And 
and that one hammered way back there. That one opts against the fence. Now around second, going for third. Oh, the throw is over his head. Just a beautiful triple from start to finish. Got a pitch he could drive, turned on it, and hammered it out front into the gap. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Hanna drifts towards it. He makes the grab. Runner tags for home. He scores on the sack fly, and it's 9-3. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Worst case scenario, a sacrifice fly to drive in that runner from third. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. And it's fouled away. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. And strike two. The Padres up big in this one. Here in the second game of the series. Scorch to center. No doubt about it. That is long gone. That was blasted to the moon. His second home run of the game, and they had a run. It's 10-3. Singing, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. Handled a pretty good changeup down in the zone right there. To me, that says he was looking down, and that's why he was able to stay on it so well. Knock it out in front and hit that ball a long way. Two outs, nobody on. And now Luis Campusano. Uh -huh. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. No ball. One strike. Now this is in the air down the line. And that is that. So they get two runs on two hits. One of them left the... Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So in now for Colorado. Number 60. Fought off foul. Left-hand hitter waits. Fly ball down the line. Moving under it. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. He's two outs away. Jameson Hanna digging in for the Rockies. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And they're down to their last out. Get him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back long enough on that one. Diaz, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. He's got it. Ball game. The Padres slug their way to a win in this one. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew? He'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there. But ultimately, it was an outstanding outing. Final score here today, 10-3. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.